I get it. You want to protect privacy on your phone, but you don't want to learn anything new. You don't want to make it inconvenient. You just want to minimize the massive and unnecessary exposure of your private data. You want to do it once and forget it. This is the video for you. A normie. In just about five minutes, you will vastly enhance privacy of your smartphone, whether it's iOS or Android. For any service we provide our users, uh, we go to great lengths to protect their privacy. <laughs> Get an application firewall. This is NetGuard for Android and Lockdown for iOS. Use these to block network access to apps that don't need it. What does your default calculator app require internet access? You can even uninstall the little devil. It's a spyware. Just block its access to your Wi-Fi or precious data plans. An app firewall will take the only available spot for a VPN on your phone, but that's fine. Don't use a VPN on the phone. Most apps have access to your location through GPS, network connections, or cellular triangulation. Most modern connections to reputable websites and servers are encrypted, which renders VPN encryption useless. Blocking unnecessary network access does much more to protect your privacy than rerouting your traffic through a single hop. If you really care about third parties tracking your browsing habits, encrypt your DNS. Phones with Android Pie or later support encrypted DNS system-wide. Go to Settings, Network and Internet, Advanced, and Private DNS. Since this is for normies, enter dns.google as the hostname of the DNS provider and tap Save. For most of you, it's not gonna matter that this is Google handling your DNS queries. The whole point is that it is encrypted and I'm not gonna bother you with decentralizing your DNS resolvers in this video. I have other videos for that. On iOS, the easiest system-wide solution for all network connections is to just use DNS Cloak app. It has its own list of public DNS servers and works excellently. In your settings, disable personalized advertising, which can be referred to as limit edge tracking. This restricts how much data apps on your phone can use for ads. It's not a silver bullet, but it's better than living it on. Disable location services. On both iOS and Android, this can be tricky to disable completely. And you might be left without real-time access to maps or other location-based features. If you can live without them, go for it. It's better to use Google Maps in a browser when you need it, rather than giving Google a real-time 24-7 record of your location. And lastly, disable all telemetry or data sharing. Don't share any data with developers. It's never collected anonymously, even if they promise you that. Maybe some developers don't use that to stalk you, but it's easy to de-anonymize this data. Get OpenStreetMap automatic navigation directions as a replacement for Google Maps. Osment can be used offline, and it's an open source project that doesn't collect your location data. Use DuckDuckGo privacy browser instead of Google search. DuckDuckGo doesn't store a record of your search queries and it doesn't log your search or browser history. Use this browser on both Android and iOS instead of Google Chrome or default browsers. For private messaging, use Signal. Signal Private Messenger is the gold standard of secure communication. It's easy and user-friendly and functions much like WhatsApp. But WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, which means they collect your metadata, whom you talk to, how long, when, and they also take a copy of your phone book. Signal is open source and non-profit, so there is no data collection there. To avoid privacy invasion from social media apps, use their progressive web apps instead of native mobile apps. This is basically using a web browser to create home screen shortcuts that are website versions, but they look and feel like apps of their own with all the trade notifications and other usual features. PWAs are supported by major browsers including Google Chrome, Safari or Firefox. PWAs give you more control over what data these app developers get access to. When using a native mobile app, you have to surrender all your photos, files, contacts and other private information to them. With WPAs, you can pretty much revoke these permissions altogether and still get a functional experience. In conjunction with social media, have a throwaway browser to open links with JavaScript disabled. The easiest way to hijack your phone is to get you to click on a malicious link or visit a website from a browser with hidden malware. 
get Firefox Focus and set it to block all JavaScript by default. Firefox Focus burns your browsing data each time you close it and it even blocks some ads. But using it to securely open links on your phone can thwart the vast majority of malicious attempts to take over your phone or online accounts. Be a minimalist. Do you really need every app on your phone? The more of them you have, the more exposed you are. Review and revoke permissions of apps that can work just fine without them. Use an application firewall mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial to block their network access if they don't need it to function. Can you find a better free and open source alternative that respects your privacy for the current debt? And that's it, you are free to go. In just about 5 minutes, you vastly enhance your privacy. You are by no means 100% private, but you are less naked than you were before. Please consider donating to my Patreon and support this video by engaging and liking and commenting. Share this tutorial with your friends so that more people can learn to better protect their privacy on a smartphone. Thank you and goodbye.